Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Saturday, May the 13th, 2023, our last day of looking at um, last Sunday's uh, reading, Romans 1, 1 to 17. I said yesterday that we we're going to focus on uh, the 16th verse where Paul writes, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. Um, it is the power of God for salvation to everyone uh, who has faith. The story is told that uh, the famous evangelist Billy Graham once sent uh, his New Testament uh, to be to a bookbinder to re to rebound the the, uh, the scripture um, probably because he used it a lot right um, and he instructed instructed uh, the bookbinder to write on the edge of the book the New Testament um, well the bookbinder after binding the New Testament um, felt that the edge was just too little to contain the full words the New Testament and so he wrote T N T instead. And when Billy Graham came to collect the book, he was first offended that the bookbinder did not write what he had said. On second thought, though, he exclaimed, Indeed, this is God's TNT, God's power. The whole point, um, and really Paul's entire letter to the Romans, makes the point that um, we are not right with God um, and, and God has done something about it to change that. Max Lucado uh, once wrote talking about the the book of Romans uh, put it in these terms he said at the moment I don't feel too smart I just got off the wrong plane that took me to the wrong city and left me in the wrong airport I went east instead of west ended up in Houston instead of Denver it didn't look like the wrong plane but it was I walked through the wrong gate, dozed off on the wrong flight, ended up in the wrong place. Well, Paul, he says, um, tells us that we've all done the same thing. Not with airplanes and airports, but with our lives and with God. And so he tells the Roman readers, this is Paul, that is, there is no one who always does what is right, not even one person. We have all sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. We are all on the wrong plane, he says. All of us, Gentile and Jew, every person has taken the wrong turn, and we need help. And so we're talking here, Paul's talking here about the power of God, to be that help. And it's a power of God. Um, the famous um, 19th century preacher um, Spurgeon uh, once said, The power that is in the gospel does not lie in the eloquence of the preacher, Otherwise, men would be the converters of souls. It does not lie in the preacher's learning. Otherwise, it would consist in the wisdom of men. We might preach, said Spurgeon, until our tongues rotted, till we would exhaust our lungs and die, but never a soul would be converted unless the Holy Spirit be with the word of God to give it, to the, to give it the power to convert the soul. It's not our power, but God's power. And so the, 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 ba the basic message of Scripture, uh, as Tim Keller once put it, is this. You're more sinful than you ever dared believe, but you're more loved than you ever dared hope. And so Paul talks about the power of, of God for salvation, the good news, what God has done for us in, in Jesus Christ. We're going to talk about that um, uh, tomorrow as well in the, uh, when we look at Romans 5 and how much God loved us, that love is behind what God has done uh, for us and on our behalf through, through Jesus and through the cross and through the resurrection. And so Paul had this message that, you know, we're, we're, like Lucado said, we were ended up in the wrong place, you know, left to our own devices. That's invariably, inevitably what's going to happen. But God makes things right again uh, through Jesus. It's not the, our own power. The power uh, is with God. And so it's interesting. Uh, I'd heard this before, but um, many of you perhaps have heard of Norman Vincent Peale. He's even a little bit before my time, but uh, he became famous for his book, The Power of Positive uh, Living. Uh, and um, 
there have been many, uh, in, including, um, oh goodness, I can't think of his name, uh, the, the pastor who was the, had the Crystal Cathedral. And um, there have been many who've emphasized, again, that, uh, you know, that the, 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 our own power to somehow change things around in our lives. Um, and it's good to have uh, approach life with the, with the right kind of attitude. Um, but it's not enough to make things right in our lives, and it's not enough to make things right with God. And so there was a, a Vance Havner uh, who was asked one time to compare the writings of Norman Vincent Peale, The Power of Positive Thinking, uh, with the writings of the Apostle Paul. And apparently he didn't like Dr. Peale too much, this idea of power of positive thinking on our behalf, uh, because this was his classic reply. Again, comparing Peale with Paul. He said, I find Peale to be appalling, but I find Paul to be appealing. Paul reminds us, as we'll hear tomorrow, that God loved us so much. Um, he proves his love for us in sending Jesus to be our Savior. On that note, I'll wrap things up for this week and uh, hope to be back with you again next week as we talk about Romans 5 and also a little bit of uh, Mother's Day as well. Hope you can join us tomorrow on Mother's Day for our worship service services at 9 and 11. Uh, or the live streaming, or join us uh, uh, via our YouTube uh, channel sometime during the week if you're unable to be with us tomorrow. Uh, in any case, hope you avail yourself of that and hope to be back with you here again on Tuesday. Till then, take care. Bye.